You claim you're gunning for the top spot. Man, you don't even know your place. You were on fire in the beginning, but lately you've seemed to slow your pace. The hype was real. You had us believing the league was proud to show your face, but then Venom turned out to be a big disappointment like Topher Grace. You used to be a threat. Last time I didn't see it. I always bring the fire, but this time things are heated because you don't know what you're in for, boy. I am an elitist. That's why they brought me to kill Venom because fire is his weakness. See, I've been on the network and while you've barely been networking, we are not the same. For someone who's only done video battles, you talk an awful lot of game. I've been out here for 10 years while well, you've barely cracked 10 months, so don't act a threat. So until you stand in front of three rounds, then you'll never have respect. See, you're a big dude, but compared to me... In battling, you don't even have half the stature. So this is just a guy who battles versus an actual battle rapper. But you don't contribute to the league. You have no fans outside your personal crew. So even that weirdo Otis Buckets is more deserving than you. See, the thing with the league owners, they take care of the real soldiers. They build divisions of steamrollers instead of divisions of freeloaders. Think about all the big names. They connect with the staff. They help build the league and in return, they're presented a path. You barely even talk to Khan. Soon your fucking spot will be a joke because we all no Venom can't survive without bonding with a host. Now you hit the scene and instantly became a big interest. Now you're just another name on my hit list that will fade from existence because you're a rookie that doesn't know your fucking place in the business because you won two battles and acted like bro won a medal. But we already know to beat you it takes nobody special. You ain't there yet. You're nothing but a fucking weak tryhard. So take these words and let them sink in further than your eyes are. Forget being number one. The only thing you'll ever be is a zero because you named yourself after a villain. When what Battle Rap needs is a hero. I expected a path of destruction. I thought challenging you would be the hardest. But now your legacy is tarnished before it's even fucking started, which doesn't make sense because Venom's usually followed up with carnage. You're out of your league with me. Dog, it's facts. Think Riddle and WWE the way I'm dropping Matt. So for you, this is a bad moment. There ain't no back and forth on this round. I'm not ab rolling. I have woken. I'll put hands on his neck and have Matt choking. That's your twist of fate. So fuck all the words that Matt's spoken because I'm not talking about a wrestling gimmick when y'all see Matt broken. You look like Lex Luthor with less future. It's nothing to leave this guy rattled. But just because you look like Lex doesn't mean you can handle how I battle. Now I see you recently got engaged. Marriage can be some messy shit. So fuck you and Becky. I hope you don't expect a gift, cause I'll show up with a blade so you better take your arms and get her clenched before I roll up to the altar and leave her head red when you see Becky lynched. I'm a different breed. The shit I speak is damaging to your soul. It's like mind games from Gorilla Grodd. The animal's in control. I got the big guns for you. I'll fucking blast this fella quick. I got two cannons for the KO like Happy Yellow Chick. You hella shady. There's nothing more to say except you're fake. Cause the thing with Venom is it's usually incorporated with a snake. Now you won in competition, but boy you are not with it. Cause you can't say competition without putting comp in it. Say yo. Now I finally get to see Jay. As a rival. But it's a fucking shame. I should have busted this lame in a Barmageddon finals. But I'll take what I can get. See, something's always better than nothing for now, even though backing up our bars is something that you know nothing about. You've done some live battles. But that shit ain't excitement to me. Everyone's good friends. I don't think there's been a single fight in the league, but he'll talk about his plans of his crosses and his jabs, but that ain't valid. Think deaf Italians. I'm really talking with my hands at a K-grip. I'll pull up on you and everybody you stay with. Hit this net legend in 10 seconds, then put a ball head through J-Kid. But what's the point, God? You've made it evidently clear that you don't bust clips. You're just going to relate me to a comic and say a whole bunch of dumb shit I'm not to be fucked with. Especially with the way that you write your shit. Guy's a bitch. He rhymes like this because it's the best option to hide his lisp. Off that. My side, burn with the hands. That's where all of the force at. And I'd rattle his five o'clock shadow because that's where a goat tee off at. But this bass head here... Like to act like he ain't phased the scared, but I'm forever on my grizzly and you.
Shouldn't shake the bear. See, when I see you in the ring, it's going to be like you fell asleep on a train in here. As soon as you open your eyes, you're going to realize that you ain't really want to take it there. But you are the epitome of what the wrong needle do. See, I could pull up to your crib with some long creeping through. Hit Jay in the brain and do the residence evil too. See, you don't got to be a street fighter to see fire. I Capcom people too. It's nothing. But if I see you in a spot, it's something. Blam, hit you, and where they land, fill you soon as I dump them. See, the delivery flawless, and the pen game is top tier. The total package. The one thing I don't got, fear. So keep that shit quiet about the actions he do. Because getting knocked the fuck out is something that could happen to you. It's Venom.